chewing on some sticks. He's a three-year-old Boston Terrier. So he's going to be our test subject. Uh, apparently there are 6.7 million dogs in the whole of the UK. So that's a lot of dogs with a lot of potential. And now citizen science basically means if you do simple games and experiments with your dog at home, you can put it into an international database and help uh, lots of different research that's been done. Look at that little face. So uh, hopefully me and Mo are going to help with that today. We're going to be playing some games on a site called Dognition. Now it deals with something called canine cognition. So basically uh, what that means is it's not just black and white. You don't just have a smart dog and a stupid dog. All dogs are clever. All breeds are clever in their own way, even if they're just trying to eat sticks. Uh, but there'll be a good reason why he's doing that. So everything makes sense. Dogs do things for a reason. It's going to seem logical to them. So they use lots of different mental processes. All dogs are smart, aren't they, Mo? Uh, but you just have to figure out which parts of their brain that they use most and which parts that they use least, and then figure out the whole picture. And then it can help you uh, find out maybe solutions to problems like behavioural issues and all sorts of things like that. Do they have a good memory? Are they more in touch with us? Do they want to be individuals? So if you go to help them with the problem, uh, is the reason that they back away because they want to solve it on their own. So there's loads and loads that we should give them a lot more credit um, than we do. They're incredibly smart and I've written a little blog post to go with this which explains it far better than I'm actually doing uh, at the minute. So he's completely lost interest. But let me show you uh, the little website that we are going to be using. So, here we go. You can play five different sections with two games each assessment game. So, empathy, communication, cunning, memory, and reason. Very <laughs> nice work. <laughs> right, okay, so empathy, we're going to kick off with the first one. A um, little bit about it there. They've become so successful as a species. So, they've evolved through domestication to be man's best friend. Um, we think they can read our emotions really, really well and connect with us on the same level. Hello, pal. Um, and connect with us oh, on some level as people. So they comfort us when we're sad um, and they wag their tails when we're feeling happy and we definitely all recognise that as dog owners. So we're going to play one, a little bit of a warm-up game called the yawn game. So like um, empathy in humans, uh, that yawn chain reaction. So uh, if you are feeling uh, sort of connected with someone, you feel empathy uh, with them, then apparently... You know, if you yawn, it will set off that chain reaction. And they will yawn as well. So, uh, does that happen in dogs? So, we are back inside to play the empathy yawning game. Uh, I recommend playing this in a sort of quiet, closed room. So, you can see the instructions there on the side. Uh, Hannah, who is Moe's auntie, uh, and well and volunteer, she's going to yawn loudly every five seconds for 30 seconds. And then there'll be like a two minute period of quiet time where we see what he does. He's over there sniffing the edge of the sofa at the minute. Uh, so we want to be looking um, for empathy reactions. Uh, does he yawn when Hannah yawns? Does he have that sort of same... Uh, now he's looking at my face. Does he have that same um, reaction that humans do? Um, so that's the first stage you can see in building up his cognitive profile. So... Um, seeing what he relies on on a day-to-day -day visit, day-to-day. -day. Um, oh no, he needs standing on the laptop now. It's all going really well. Right, <laughs> let's get started. So we just scroll down, we hit begin. So the timer starts. And every five seconds we're going to do a nice natural yawn and look for a reaction. We're almost at the end of the two-minute period of observation. And you can see there's been no yawns. Some sniffing. So as we just almost came to the end of two minutes, what did you do? You let out the most massive yawn we've ever seen. So there's hope for you yet. So we've just entered your um, results in the laptop and now we've unlocked the next stage, um, which is communication. We are having lots of fun. Mo is not cooperating too well, but we're going to play the arm point and communication game. So you can sort of see there if you want to have a little read. Uh, but basically Hannah's going to put two treats down and then she's going to definitely point to one of them uh, using the same command every time. We're going to do it six times so it's not just left down to chance. But we're trying to see if Mo independently makes his decisions or if he is in some way following Hannah's definite gesture. So if he's in sync with her, there he is, ready to go, aren't you? I'm sorry. So ready, Hannah is going to put the two treats down. Ready, on you go. 
So they are down and then she's going to definitely point to the one on the left hand side. <laughs> there we go. And uh, So I'm going to release Mo and Hannah is going to say go. Go. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so both treats successfully, but at least he went to the one on the left the first time around. <laughs> so this is how far we've got with this. <laughs> we put the treats down and now he knows that I want to hold him uh, while Hannah sets up the experiment, so he's yeah, not I'm keen. Like, sit, go. Aha, oh, uh -huh. no. so he's went to the left. Oh, it's it's so he, well, what we think is he didn't independently make his own decision. Uh, he has remembered the process from the past time and he's just repeating this. So we'll do it a few more times and see what the outcome is. Okay, final time, down together, Hannah's going to point. Yeah, to the right. Go. And then I'm going to release him. Go. Uh, yeah, straight through the right. So, yeah. and to the left. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see what his results are now. <laughs> so, after all that in the end, you can see his communication results are through. It says they might change uh, as we continue to play all to so this 20 games to play, but he seems to be highly collaborative. Little doggy. Uh, you can see that graph there. So this is where Mo is on the dotted line. And this is uh, the scale. So self-reliant, collaborative. So he seems to almost be at the top end of wanting to collaborate with his owner, or with Hannah, his auntie. But she might as well own him. Uh, this big bend in the graph shows you where all the other dogs who've played these games fared on the scale. So you can compare them. Uh, we can go through. There's got cunning games that you can play. Uh, which should be really interesting actually. So seeing if Mo can tell if he's being watched and how he uses that information. So if he's going to steal a treat or not, if he knows that Hannah can see him or if she's got a blocker in front of her. And uh, then we've got the memory games, how Mo uses memory uh, in relation to other cues and senses. And finally, reasoning games. So this is really the culmination of it all. How he flexibly solves problems without immediately uh, becoming aware of the solution. So that is going to take a lot of flexibility. So we are going to continue to play. Uh, you can see his little profile there. Uh, we're going to continue to play, but it's almost time for him to go a walk. You can see he's getting a little bit sleepy, but I'm going to update with another video uh, at the very end of it all when we do get all the results coming through. So this is just the start of it for day seven of 30 Days Wild. Um, as I said, you can read my blog post to find out a lot more. Um, I've been studying this sort of canine cognition area quite a lot in the last few months. I'm really into it, so I think it's interesting if you own a dog um, or if you know anyone that owns a dog, and this is a good way to start getting involved in some citizen science.